This is Ibo Area TV. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also click the bell icon. Hello, how are you doing? I'm Azuka Uzo OJ. We're going to be discussing about that Nigeria is borrowing from China. How Nigeria has been sold to China. Uh, this is not a new topic here, but I uh, want to shed more light on it. And because uh, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra made mention of it in one of his uh, latest broadcasts, you see, um, on our show here, I think uh, Milo's Corner segment, we talked about countries borrowing from China and uh, the consequences of doing that. Uh, we shared with, with you several countries who had borrowed both in Africa in different parts of the world, even in South America, how they are being made to pay back that loan. Uh, China is um, um, quick to give because they had some motives behind the borrowing, the lending. So when it comes to um, paying back, it is not always easy. And China is a world power. They know how to exert their power to get back their money. So I think our past government borrowed from the West and that is a lighter yoke. Uh, compared to borrowing from China, these are all. Uh, uh, remember, a borrower is a slave to the lender, but uh, some of the time we say this yoke is lighter. Um, uh, this this particular country can be lenient, can be soft in trying to get back the loan they give you, but when it comes to China, oh my God, you have to be uh, very very careful. So, we had our debts, Nigeria's debt in the past, cancelled by Paris Club, um, a union of France and some other countries. They cancelled our debt. And we were somehow free. But I don't think that will be the case with China. I don't know how Buhari fell out, um, how his severed links with the West. I don't know, maybe his style of leadership has severed link with the West and he is looking towards China and he has been borrowing. The latest uh, the Senate approved was $22.7 billion. And check out what the Harris government is trying to do with this money. Projects that are not worth it project that cannot give the money back so how is Nigeria going to pay back for this Niger Delta oil has been mortgaged for this and that is where we are yoked China will come back for their money when they want to come back for it remember we discussed here um, Sri Lanka port seaport is controlled by china if you go to zambian wires cables are controlled by china you see chinese um haven't uh, taken part in zambia's police these are many other things now recently in one of his latest broadcasts the ipub leader Mazen namdekano talked about borrowing from china how nigeria has been sold to china yes and i agree with what he said on it let me read out um some of uh based on um, article based on that in one of his brokers he claimed nigeria has been sold to china through a particular construction company 
that has been handling Nigerian's project recently. This construction company is called Chinese Civil Engineering Company. Chinese Civil Engineering Construction Company, CCECC. You remember um, how did we come about this? Um, recently, uh, the, um, as a result of um, the COVID-19, Nigerian government went to invite Chinese doctors um, to handle, to take care of our health situation. Minister of Health, in fact, it was so clear, Minister of Health in a broadcast said Nigeria is inviting Chinese doctors. But later, when um, the Chinese doctors arrived, Nigerians were massively protesting against the doctors and the kids and whatever they came with um, it's happened that the government is now denying that they were not the one that invited the Chinese company so Martin and kind of stated this in a reaction to a recent revelation by Nigerian Minister of Health Dr. Sage Ehaniri that the President Mohamed Buhari led government did not invite the Chinese doctors who came into the country last Wednesday to help with the fight against coronavirus you see these people I don't even understand them during his broadcast uh, during a, a kind of press conference this guy said they are inviting Chinese doctors but perhaps due, due to the uh, Nigeria's uproar against the invitation knowing no country is inviting China um, because of the circumstances that led to the virus. No country is inviting China. Well, let me, I don't know, Mr. Sir. This is the second consignment coming from China. The first came a couple of weeks ago when the Jackson Foundation have brought some items. And this is another one. And we would like to know what are the items that we have received. And then for those personnel who have come, and what is going to be done to them? Are they going to be for the time for the required 14 days? Because they are foreign and just arriving at Yes, we are going to start from that one. They will be in quarantine for 14 days. They knew that before they came and uh, they have undergone tests before they left their country. Nevertheless, they will be in, uh, in quarantine for 14 days. Nigeria NCDC has gone to see where they are supposed to be in quarantine and will continue to pay. They are free to pay visits there for the 14 days. So that one is taken care of. But the equipment that, come, that has come today, we are very happy to see. Uh, the second consignment from China after the Jack Ma consignment. So we believe it will help us a lot in addressing the gaps that we will have had in commodities uh, and also very important equipment. Uh, uh, when you ask how many ventilators you have, we have 50 ventilators more after this visit. And beyond the ventilators, we have this uh, extracorporeal uh, membrane ox oxygenator which is similar to a half long machine, a very sophisticated equipment of which I'm not sure we have one here, but it's similar to a half long machine to treat those cases where even the ventilator has failed. So these are the extremely important addition to our regiment of treatment options. There were some medical team that came from Europe and you said they were experts. What would be different from what this medical team that from China now? Is there anything different they would be doing? Yes, there are some different in the first place. The medical team that came from Indora are experts in managing viral diseases generally. And this is a viral disease also. But you know that the coronavirus is a novel virus, it's said to be a new virus. So it has new dimensions which are new to us, which even the experts among us would like to know more about. So the visit of the uh, experts from China, the technicians and the uh, medical uh, uh, personnel who are able to give us information on not only on public health aspects but also on case management and on all the uh, difficulties they had because even if you ask them they will tell you that at the beginning they probably made some mistakes too and they learned mistakes they learned from their mistakes and they did some things right and it is from all of that that we as a country and as a people want to profit in order to be able to help our citizens um. While these doctors arrived in Nigeria, um, we started he hearing counterclaims. Honorable Minister, you applauded Nigerian doctors for doing well in handling this crisis. So why bring in the Chinese doctors at this time? 
Well, in the first place, we didn't bring them in. I think the company in its own wisdom and probably in its own corporate uh, uh, responsibility, social co uh, responsibility thought they should bring people to come and help us and advise. We didn't issue any invitation. But we are not unhappy that they are here because we can learn from their experience. These people have been through it. We want to start with a video conferencing with them even while they are in isolation so that we can uh, try to learn from their experiences. Uh, there is nothing better than learning from someone who has actually suffered uh, an event and uh, uh, been inflicted with an injury. So there are uh, people there who are specialized, uh, doctors uh, and uh, nurses, and what we can learn from them, we learn. But uh, I think the company in its own wisdom thought that we will benefit from this uh, kind of initiative. Uh, we didn't uh, uh, really ask for it or say bring us this. In fact, we didn't know that this whole gift was coming from the company. We appreciate it nevertheless. This CC ECC engineering company that is from China that is based in Nigeria started claiming they invited these Chinese doctors. I think um, because of the blames, Nigerian government has to pull itself out because a lot of people said we we'll reject the vaccine, we we'll reject the Chinese doctors, we we'll reject whatever they came with and there has been a lot of alarms. Nigerians are cautioning their people do not take the vaccine just like as if it's the CCCs already. Yeah, so um, Kanu wondered how a foreign company so had such authority to on behalf of the country it is working for invite doctors on behalf of the countries country that's Nigeria invite doctors to take care of Nigerians. You wonder how that could be. And uh, even uh, he said uh, it's a very shameful thing. While Chinese people are busy humiliating our people, separating them from their wives, seizing their passports, Nigerian government did not react although well, um, our ambassador over there reacted but it was a time that there there's, has to be a response back home to tell chinese we are a country we you know make a strong statement just not just um uh, the the ambassador trying to uh, stop the chinese there collecting the passport but then there's a way we have to react, make a strong statement. But instead of that, Nigeria is busy here welcoming Chinese doctors. So I'm trying to give you reasons why the IPOB leader said Nigeria has been sold to China. Everyone would agree with him. And I think it's not far, what he said is not far from the truth. He said, what we knew happened has now been confirmed. A government of scammers, forgers, and frosters have been caught in their own web of lies. Confusion upon confusion, lies upon lies, deceit upon deceit, fraud upon fraud, impunity upon impunity. A colonel wrote this on his Facebook wall. He says, shamefully, the Minister of Health has confirmed that a common Chinese company based in Abuja are the people effectively in charge of their COVID-19 response and strategy, which means the same Chinese people that are busy humiliating black Africans in their country are now the people running the government of Nigeria, as I've always maintained. So the question, how can CCECC, a construction company, a Chinese company that is based in Abuja be the one that will invite Chinese doctors on behalf of Nigerians and it is something that even was debated Nigerians were against it still it happened but you know how shameful it is the Nigerian head minister in his broadcast said Nigeria was inviting Chinese doctors how come he um, took back his word it's so shameful um, what IPOB leader is trying to say is that Nigeria is indirectly being managed by China. They are dictating for us. They are telling us what to do. 
because of we have borrowed from them we are slaves just like the borrower is the slave to the lender he went on to say um, Nigeria was formed by a British business venture by the name Royal Niger Company and today it's this memberment is being presided over by another business entity this time around the Chinese own China Civil Engineering Construction Company CCECC uh, its executive director Jack Liu is the one that now firmly in charge of the government of Nigeria in the absence of Abakiari and the rest of the Fulanis, the Kabars. You understand? British formed Nigeria. British started Nigeria. Niger Royal Company merged Nigeria, uh, the, the, the North and Southern uh, Confederates merged us. Now it's like another handler has taken over Nigeria. And how did um, the, the second handler take over Nigeria? We were indebted to them. We borrowed whose song. We became their slaves. And sooner, just like we said in uh, Mirulo's Corner's discussion, Chinese might come to have Nigeria's crude oil. They will tap till they are done. Let me conclude um, what the IPB leader wrote. Let me conclude. Let me conclude what the IPB leader wrote on his Facebook wall. He said Nigeria started as a business and had ended as a business enterprise. Funny enough, it was from this same China that Frederick Lugard was recalled back to England and given order to head to West Africa to take over the fledging colony from Royal Niger Company. Ironically, it is also from the same China that another company, CCECC, had been mandated to preside over the end of Nigeria. Full circle of life completed for, an, for the animal kingdom, he wrote. You know, uh, the leader of IPOB sees Nigeria, he calls Nigeria a zoo. The reason he called Nigeria a zoo was so simple. Things are not done in order. The mismanagement of things, a section of the country ruling the country constantly as if uh, it's their bet right. Not just that alone, we've had cases of monkey coming to steal billions of naira, snakes coming to steal billions of naira. naira. Different kind of stuffs. You know, there are so many stories. I think on that premise, he said Nigeria is. Um, he calls it zoo, zoological republic. So I think he had something in mind by calling Nigeria that name. So how are we going to come out of this? We are being, we are by borrowing, entering into slavery. And this is a modern day slavery what do you think how are we going to come out of this do you think um, we can come out of it please would like if you think we, we, we can do anything to make things work again to change the narrative please uh, tell us bye for now Amazuka Ozo OJ Thanks for watching Ebo Area TV. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also click the bell icon. Like our Facebook page. Join our Facebook group. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Bye for now.